Hi, my name is Mary Ann and I'm a potter here in Aztec, New Mexico. This is my studio in my garage. And what I've done is uh, prepared uh, a pound and a half of clay by wedging it, and that means getting all the air out. Then I have put it on my wheel and then I had centered it. And now at this point, I am getting ready to moisten it and then I'm going to bring the walls up. And this is how I do it. Actually, I start with my hands and see how it's rising? It's now starting to take on the shape of a bowl. So what I do is wet it again. Then I come along. And when I'm bringing this up, I am pushing out further on my inside hand and just supporting on the outside. Therefore, the bowl starts to form even more. And each time I make a pull, I go along the top. And what this does is stabilizes the top and make sure you're still staying straight. At this point, I am going to wet it again and bring the wall up again. My wheel is running slower at this point. I am controlling it with my foot pedal. And that's the last pull I will do. At this point, I need to dry off the bowl. on the outside. And this is a metal rib that I'm using. A tool that's used often in here. And then I need to make sure that that rim is compressed good before I start really shaping the bowl. I use a small yellow rib and what I do is I brace myself. I, I brace this elbow and I go in with my rib and I go down and the bowl starts to become a bowl. Now as I'm doing this I'm also compressing the bottom of the bowl with the rib. Now I will go in here three or four times and do the same thing until I get the shape that I'm happy with. I can also come back and come up as well as going down. And I am completely controlling the clay Now I need to finish off that rim. And smooth out any lines that ended up staying in the bowl. And give it a nice smooth finish. At this point I don't want any water in there. Now what I will do is take a tool and I will take the bottom of it, clean it off, put it in and put a swirl in the bottom of the bowl and just pull it out and there's my swirl and I need to trim, trim the bottom clean the excess clay away and I have a bowl I need to take my wire, run it under the bottom of the bowl. That releases the bowl as it dries. And then I will go in and trim the bottom as it uh, finishes up drying. At this point, what I do is let the bowl dry. And then I will turn it over and I will put it back on the wheel and I will trim it. I will trim a foot on the bottom, 
And then at that point, I will uh, let it dry. And that usually takes, oh, two to three, four days um, in this dry air that I live. And then what I will do is put it in the kill for the first firing, which is called a bisque firing. And what that does is takes all of the moisture out of the bowl. And when that's done, that's about seven, eight hours in the kiln. Uh, and when that's done, I will take that out and then I will uh, glaze it. Uh, and um, then I will do the main firing, which um, is anywhere from 1800 to 2100 degrees in my kiln. Once it comes out of there, it's completely finished and it is microwavable and dishwasher safe. And uh, what I really like about pottery is I like to make things that are functional. I love to be able to use the things that I make in my own kitchen when I'm cooking. This is what gives me joy. I love getting up in the morning and coming out and throwing pottery. I just think these are little jewels. They're just... And they're wonderful in the kitchen for little things. I use uh -huh. a little one like that for my vitamins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I like the browns and the blues in it.